Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN. This short animation walks you through how Digital Rebar bootstraps and configures VMware ESX 6 or 7 all the way through to a complete cluster bring up using VMware Cloud Foundations. First, we start with customer chosen infrastructure. One of the important things to rack in and with Digital Rebar is that you choose your own hardware, your own infrastructure. We don't care about the vendor, the architecture, the operating system. In this case, we're provisioning ESX. But we start with our normal boot discovery process. So in this case, the server boots for the first time through Pixie. It doesn't have to go through Pixie. We can predefine and prediscover uh, infrastructure from a variety of ways. In that discovery image, which runs completely in memory, we automatically start our agent and then perform a wide range of normal system bring up tasks. Uh, these can be customer managed and injected by yourself or written by yourself, or they can come out of our very deep catalog of configuration and provisioning options. Those include RAID and BIOS and firmware configuration for a wide range of hardware vendors, out-of-band management configuration using IPMI, Redfish, or vendor tools, verifying the HCL conforms to the VMware specification, and providing a deep inventory uh, down to the NIC, uh, RAM, drive cards, uh, including network discovery and topology, we can basically verify and conform that the system matches the very exacting specifications to install VMware. And if there's anything wrong, we stop, notify you so you can quickly correct the problem before you've moved through the install process. That in itself can save hours of time. From there, we reboot and start a Pixie process using VMware's Weasel process, which is effectively their kickstart netboot process. In that, we automatically start a firewall VIB, uh, which allows us to then open the reports necessary to run the VMware agent for digital rebar. This is a special agent designed to work with VMware ESX and within that limited environment. However, it still provides you with the ability to extend and expand on that automation. Out of the box, we have a considerable amount of automation to do network config, VLAN uh, work to take you off of VLAN zero and into the correct production VLAN, setting passwords, changing the requirements for the passwords to have high security criteria, installing TLS certificates so your APIs can run in a trusted, in trusted mode, uh, patching ESXi to the VMware specifications for the cluster, uh, which might not be the way your ISOs originally uh, came installed. So this brings you to the latest and then absolutely critically final verification. Because VCF is a one-way process, it is very, very important that everything is entirely pristine and ready. We perform the final steps to make sure that we don't start that process for a cluster of 100 machines until every single machine is conformant. From there, we hand off to VCF using JSON files to join the cluster. At that point, you can leave the digital rebar components in place or allow them to dissolve if, you want, if it's okay to lose control of that machine for further patching and updates. I hope this was helpful. Please check out our other animations and videos that explain how Digital Rebar operates. Uh, and we are a self-service driven company, so everything we're doing is designed for you to download and try. Please try the Digital Rebar self-trial, and you can uh, verify and repeat these steps yourself. Thank you.